She's looking really good. Look at her. She's really upset. She's not messing around today either. What's going on? Okay. Relax. Relax. I'm not wearing my good boots today, so I can't let her chew on them if I get bit. <laughs> Come check out this bath full of diamonds. They're all just hanging out. It's like a little rattlesnake hot tub. Nice and calm. Calm, calm, he's calm. Right back inside the enclosure. Okay. Such a beast of a snake. Welcome back to my wild life. I'm back from Australia and I'm alive. I made it. I tangled with the king brown. I messed with the western brown. I found black headed pythons, crocs in caves, bats, and I hung out with Ricky Mack of the Outback. It was an awesome time. I loved it. Can't wait to go back to northern Australia to go look for other animals. Got some cool expeditions I have planned with Ricky Mack, inland taipans, coastal taipans, green tree pythons, hanging out with aboriginals, and also swimming with wild saltwater crocodiles in an ocean. I will get to that another time. I'm very hyped today. I'm happy. I had a great trip, I had a good time, and I'm ready to get back into it over here. Today what we're going to be doing is working with some of the animals. Obviously since I was gone, I have some maintenance to do. Justin Iguala, also known as Vanilla Ice, was coming over here making sure my king cobras were nice and clean. And now I gotta change out some waters, I gotta take Justine out, I gotta soak her, and I gotta clean some rattlesnakes. So today, let's get on cleaning them spicy meatballs, if you know what I mean. Mamma mia pizza mio. Sorry, enough of that. I know you guys are getting sick of the spicy meatballs, but if you get sick of spicy meatballs, you need to get out of here. Because here, we appreciate our mother's meatballs, if you know what I'm saying. See you in a split second. Alright guys, we're gonna unlock Justine and bring her out. She's ready to go. She's been watching the whole time. There she is. She looks like she's on fire. Haven't handled her since I've been gone. She's ready to go. I'm using this double hook to give her a nice support. But as you can see, she is not messing around today. She's looking good. She busted out of the shed before I left town. She's looking really good. Look at her. She's really upset. She's not messing around today either. What's going on? Okay. Relax. Relax. Not wearing my good boots today, so I can't let her chew on them if I get bit. <laughs> Alright, look over here. I need to get to your backside. Can you, can you back out? Thank you. So Justina's doing good. She is nice and healthy, and as you can see, she's looking gorgeous with her coloration. Listen to that. You hear her growling right now? Listen. The only snake on the planet that has a modified trachea to help it growl. So let me stick her inside this can over here so she can soak. I'm gonna get her some fresh water inside her bowl. Okay, so she's got some poop in here, the glass needs to be cleaned, and her water bowl flipped over. So I'm going to get her some fresh water, and we'll be back in a second, and then we're going to put her back and get into the rattlesnakes. So I'll see you in a sec. Alright, so we've got the fresh water, got a couple of little spicy meatballs in there we got to take out, but for the most part it's pretty clean, because Mr. Vanilla Ice was over here making sure the cages were getting cleaned out, so no ammonia builds up and could possibly kill my snakes because I fed them some Burmese pythons before I left town. So, let me throw this turd away and give Justina a little time to soak in that can. And then once we're done soaking her, we'll put her back, get into the rattlesnakes. We're going to give her like 30 minutes. Oh, hey. Okay, so it's been about 30 minutes. 
good enough time for Justina to soak. So let's just leave that ditch right there and let's ditch redo this up. Okay, get my double hook just in case she's being cantankerous. Look at her. She's deep under water right here. She's getting a nice soak. She's drinking up all that water. Her head is right there underneath that coil. There she is. Now she's going to come up. She's going to be aware of what's going on. You can see her jaws flexing right now. She's actually drinking water. Look at that. Now she's done. She's just like, I see you, Chandler. I see you. So let's get her out. Justina. Such a good looking king. She wants to go back, so we're gonna let her go back right away. And not keep her out too long because she's being a cranky pants today. And so is Kevin. Kevin's being very aggressive today. He's been smashing the glass. Look at that. He's right there. But you don't want to get too close because Justina's still up. There we go. She's doing good. She's looking beautiful. And Kevin, he's just so cranky. Why are you so cranky, huh? I'm going to build a new high box for him. A lot of you guys were asking what happened to his old high box uh, when I put him in this older cage that was no good because of the horrible ventilation and there was so much aluminum being built up when he went to the bathroom. It created mold on his box. It started a little bit. That's concerning for me. So I took the box and I smashed the box and I burnt it. So we don't have that box anymore. We're going to build a new one. And I forgot what material it is, but we're gonna use a different material that won't absorb moisture and will keep it from molding up. So he will just have to deal with these, these nice cloths, these pillowcases as a visual barrier to make him feel comfortable. And as I said, we are gonna be working on a giant King Cobra enclosure here. So hopefully that happens in the next two months. So lots happening, lots to do. I'm gonna cover Justina back up after I lock her cage. Let me just lock that up real quick. There we go. So she can have her privacy, because as you know, she is a bit cantankerous as well. Good. All right, so now what I want to do is soak my big Mexican West Coast rattlesnake. He's going through shed right now, and he also has gone to the bathroom as well, because he had a nice meal not too long ago. Okay, so we've got it unlocked. Let's take out Mr. Mexican West Coast. As you can see, some spicy meat bones right there, very nice. And I'm using this new double hook because double hooks are awesome. Double hooks add lots of support to the animal and keep them feeling nice and comfy. There we go. Look at that. Every time I take this snake out, I'm impressed. I love this guy. He is a beast. We're going to put him in this water. Oh, I had to drop him because his head was coming flying up. That's a spicy rattlesnake. Alright, so put something on top to keep him in there. And now I have the pleasure of cleaning up his poop. Because that's what being a zookeeper is all about. Go. Lovely, lovely. Can't get enough of this stuff. Wouldn't want to do anything else on the planet. Mix that mulch up, make it nice. Change his water. And in a few moments, we'll go put him back. All right, so cage is clean. We got fresh water. Now just time to put, uh, what did we? Oh yeah, uh, El Pepe is what we ended up naming the Mexican West Coast Royal Snake. So let's go take El Pepe out of the enclosure, or out of his tub, put him back. Hey, El Pepe. Oh, he's looking right at me. Come look. Come slowly. Look at him. <laughs> he's just chilling under the water. He's in S position. Let's see. Oh, he's on it today. He's on the move. He might come out by himself. Hey, buddy. What's she doing? Just hanging out? All right, we'll see how much he comes out before I make a move. He's doing his thing, he's moving, he's muscling. Nice and calm, 
I'm calm, he's calm. Right back inside the enclosure. Look at that. Such a beast of a snake. Alright. Get your tail inside there. Wow, look at that rattle. He is developing a really nice looking rattle. Look at that thing. Alright, so I'm gonna close this up. And we have Two more rattlesnakes to take care of. The lovely Eastern Diamondback rattlesnakes. You guys know how lovely they are. The female so sweet and the male just oh so bitter. So much sweeter. All right. See you guys in a second. We got our cleaning supplies right here. Got my key right now. And we're gonna start with the female just because she's a lot easier to deal with. As you know, she's somewhat of a sweet animal. Double hook. Take her out. She is really just ready to eat anything that comes towards her. She had her first meal in months because she was going through the mating season, so she went off feed as well as the male. So she is super keen for food. As you can see, she's investigating like crazy. She can smell a rodent in the air. Let's see. Get her, Get her out a little more. Get her tail. And one thing that's awesome about this rattlesnake is her stellar looking rattle. Look how nice that rattle is, well developed. She's a little upset. Here we go, give her a nice soak. And we're going to take out her turds because, well, she can turn Bugs Bunny into a big pile of pretty easily. I'm just gonna give her some fresh water, and that's about it. Just a little spot clean. Maybe get her some more mulch. So you guys can see. So we got the fresh water right there. And I want her to continue to soak, so I think I'm just gonna stick her boyfriend in there as well. So, you guys, stay on your toes. Stay on your toes around this snake. You know this thing likes to try to bite you in the crotch. So watch yourself. Watch yourself down there. Watch yourself up here. Careful. Let me be in the danger zone. You know, I hadn't even named this guy, and he's such a cantankerous rattlesnake. Maybe you guys should comment below and let me know what you think I should name him. I'm glad I put this hide in here, because he's definitely utilizing it. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. There we go. He's looking good. He's got to put on some more weight. I'm not your buddy guy. I'm not your friend. Oh! Leave my camera lady alone. And that is why you've got to watch yourself around this one. Come check out this bath full of Diamondbacks. They're all just hanging out. It's like a little rattlesnake hot tub. You guys want to go for a dip in the rattlesnake hot tub? Ah. I'll deal with the regular hot tub. All right. Oh, goodness. He just decorated the whole place with his dookie. I'm going to have to clean all this. I'll see you guys in a minute. I'm sure you're plenty full of uh, this content of poo poo cleaning and, and doo doo sniffing. I'm, I'm sure you're sick of it. So I'll see you when we're putting the snakes back. Alright guys, so the cages are clean, good to go. We clean his hide, nice and clean. Make sure this is open. Just prepare myself. Alright. Hey buddy. I hear you, your rattle gurgling. Oh, he is so lovely. Alright, right back into the enclosure. Nice and easy. That's actually the smoothest we've ever moved this rattlesnake. He's usually biting at me. 
trying to tag me every five seconds. Nice hanging out. Good to see you. Now let's put the female back. She's not too bad. Beautiful female. Put her right back in there. God, she's really good looking. I'm so glad that she's been eating. She's looking good. They're both looking really good. I'll give them both two more rabbits later this week so they can put on some weight. Love these rattlesnakes. All right, beautiful people. It's time for me to go. Oops, stay right here. I'll say goodbye with Ziggy. I'll see you guys on the next one. Stay beautiful, stay safe, and love your family members and be kind to everyone. I'll see you on the next one. Be brave. Stay gangster.